The brand new 14 inch MacBook Pro is going to have a massive speed boost with having the new M3 Max and M3 Pro chipset that is being built from the ground up to be far faster than the M2 Max that only came out 18 months ago. I want to share all the details about this and also the M3 Max 14 inch MacBook Pro release date and price. So Apple's journey of rolling out Apple Silicon into their Macs is in full swing. The 14 and 16 inch MacBook Pros back in January got the new M2 Pro and M2 Max that provided about 20 to 30% more power than the M1 Pro and the M1 Max for CPU and GPU and then about 40% faster for machine learning neural engine speeds. So for the next 14 and 16 inch MacBook Pros, we've been told that the design probably won't change that much. However, the chipset is going to have a massive upgrade change with the new M3 Pro and the M3 Max. This will be the main change, but we are expecting a few other surprises from leaks and reports too along the way. So with this, I'm going to talk about reports and leaks followed by the release date, then the specs, and finally, my thoughts and wishes for the new 14-inch MacBook Pro with the M3 Pro and the M3 Max inside for this video. So, with the M3 Pro and the M3 Max, the exciting news is that in less than a year from now, we've been told that we could have these brand new MacBooks with these chipsets inside them in our hands. Ming-Chi Kuo has told us already that the M3 Pro and the M3 Max are going to be in production at the end of 2023, ready for the early half of 2024. As we know, we're expecting the M3 chip, the normal one, to come out either this summer or more likely to come out in the fall of 2023, and this will be put in the likes of the MacBook Air 13-inch and also the brand new 13-inch MacBook Pro and also quite possibly the 24-inch iMac 2. However, one question that you guys are probably wanting to see is what kind of boost in performance are we going to see with the M3 Pro and the M3 Max? Well, the M1 Pro, M2 Pro, the M1 Max and the M2 Max has given us amazing performance already and the chipsets of these are made on 5 nanometer dies. But with the M3 Pro and the M3 Max, we've been told that these chipsets are going to be made on a 3 nanometer die, as you can see here. This will mean that transistors and everything will be made even smaller, and in return, this means the chips will be even more efficient and give us better performance before adding additional cores or even ramping up the speed of those clock speeds of those cores. I will talk more about cores being assigned to the M3 Pro and the M3 Max in the spec sheet a bit later on. However, we can probably expect around about a 100% increase in power on the M3 Pro to the M1 Pro and also a 100% increase in power of the M3 Max to the M1 Max that only came out 18 months ago. When you think about this, this is incredible that when these chipsets are released that this will just be over two years between them and we will have chipsets that are basically double the speed. So this is really exciting as the M2 chipsets over the M1 gave us around about 20 to 40% increases instead. However, I will also say at this point that not all leaks and reports are 100% proof they'll be coming true in the new MacBooks. As I've said in loads of other videos too, I can only present to you what I've been told and shown like what you've seen here today. However, if you are watching this video still, then you're as curious as I'm in knowing what's going to be said about the new MacBooks anyway, no matter if they come true or not. So the next question is on the release day. So with Apple's journey almost complete with the M2 variants being rolled out to most model, it's most likely that these chipsets and devices will also get replaced in the order that they came out in. So what I'm talking about is that the M3 chipset will come out first, followed by the M3 Pro, M3 Max, and then obviously the M3 Ultra. So with this in mind, we've been told that the M2 Ultra is still to come out and then after this the next max to be upgraded will be the brand new m3 chipset inside the 13 inch macbook air a new 13 inch macbook pro and also possibly the imac 24 inch before any other devices start to get the m3 pro and the m3 max it's looking likely that the m3 will be rolled out either at wwdc or this fall. 
After this, then it will be the M3 Pro and the M3 Max, and we could be seeing this as early as January time in 2024. However, this is most likely probably not going to be the case. It is believed that the M2 Pro and the M2 Max MacBooks were actually meant to come out in October or November 2022, but they got pushed out a bit due to some problems. With this, though, it's more likely that we'll have a spring event or a March or April event sometime in 2024, and we'll get our hands on the new MacBook Pros then. To do some quick calculations, this basically means that only 15 months would have elapsed since the M2 Pro and the M2 Max chipsets came out. As March or April 2024 is still a bit far away, the exact release date is still a bit up in the air, but it does give you enough time to start saving for these new MacBooks that are predicted to come out around this time. However, over summer, then going into the fall of 2023, I'm sure that more reports will show if spring 2024 is going to be the release time and the exact date as well for these new MacBook Pros. So then guys, just quickly, this channel recently got over half a million subscribers, what is absolutely amazing. And you can check out the video on my channel to see who won those prizes. But we're doing another giveaway now, and this giveaway is gonna be happening around a sort of mid-June time, some point after WWDC. And at this giveaway this time, guys, I'm gonna be giving away three prizes. The first two prizes are runner-up prizes, and that are some AirPods 2, and also I'm gonna be giving away some AirPods free as well, what's absolutely amazing. Then the main prize I'm gonna be giving away to one lucky subscriber is one of these. It is an iPhone 13 Pro Max in the silver white color. And I'm gonna be giving this away to one lucky subscriber. And all you need to do to enter in is basically put your opinion in the comment below of the report of this video or tell me what Apple technology gear you're planning to buy or hopeful to get in 2023. As I already said, guys, the giveaway is happening in June time. So if you're brand new to this channel, make sure you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell because you'll want to get that notification of when that giveaway is happening in June time. So make sure you do that right now. Now, something else I just want to quickly say, there are lots of imposters out there, a lot of them faking to be me, telling you that you've won yourself like an iPhone or another prize. And basically these people are telling you to part with some of your money to pay for shipping. This is not me at all. If you get a WhatsApp or Telegram or being told to send one of these messages, make sure you do not do it. This giveaway that I am doing is an international giveaway and I'll be paying for the postage, taxes and all of that. So if you do get a message to say that you've won an iPhone, for example, and basically you need to pay for the shipping, please do report it here on YouTube. All you have to do is click on the comments and basically click report and YouTube will do the rest. Just make sure you do not part with any of your money to these scammers out there. So to summarize again, all you need to do is comment on as many videos that I create out there to enter in and also at the same time, make sure you subscribe to the channel and also hit that notification bell to be in the chance to win one of these free prizes. Is. And with that guys, it's back to the video. So with the latest leaks and release date out of the way, let's move on to a summary of everything we know so far that previous leaks have painted the picture for for the new MacBook Pros as well with its price too. So the main thing to probably take away for design is not much is going to be changing here. The design language that we've had since the MacBook Pro 14 inch, what came with the M1 Pro and the M1 Max isn't really going to change at all. There might be some slight little tweaks to the design, but nothing major. But that basically means then we will still be getting that 14 inch XDR liquid retina mini LED display with a resolution of 3024 by 1964 and of course this is still going to remain as a ProMotion 120Hz display. The actual storage options are probably most likely going to stay as well so this will be starting at 512GB most likely for your M3 Pro and M3 Max going all the way up to 8 terabytes of an SSD. 
for the actual chipsets, we will be getting the M3 Pro and the Max, and this will either be a 12 or 14 core CPU, depending on which chipset you pick, if you get the bin version or not. And then also, this will start from a 19 core M3 Pro uh, for the GPU, and this would be the bin version going all the way up to the maximum 44 core GPU in the fully maxed out M3 Max chipset. For actual RAM, you'll be able to pick between 16 gigabytes all the way up to 96 gigabytes of RAM, and that'll be in the M3 Max to pick that option. The body will be made out of aluminum or aluminium, and then the ports, you will still get the MagSafe, the three USB-C, Thunderbolt 4 ports, HDMI 2.1, and of course, that SD card slot too. The center stage camera is probably not going to change much. It will still be a 1080p camera, and battery life is most likely going to be up to around about 18 hours on this device. And again, the price based on this new device is that we're getting yourself a 12 core CPU and a 19 core GPU, the bin version, and 16 gigabytes of RAM, and also the box standard 512 gigabytes of storage. This will come in at the same price at 1,999 US dollars. Well, that is a summary of the 14 inch MacBook Pro. However, for my thoughts and wishes, my wish is to do with the current M2 Pro and M2 Max MacBook Pros. I'm hoping that when the new M3 Pro and Max come out, Apple still sells the M2 Pro and M2 Max MacBooks, but at a lower price. I am thinking something along the lines what Apple do right now with say iPhones, where each year they bring out a new iPhone, but they sell a variant or two of the previous generations for less. I would love to see this happen to the M2 Pro and M2 Max MacBook Pros as they're still such amazing devices. I would say for say the 16 inch model for example, it could be reduced say to $2,099 US dollars compared to the M3 Pro model starting at $2,499 US dollars. Do you think this would be a good idea? Let me know your thoughts and if you agree with this or not, please let me know in the comments below what your wishes would be for the new Mac with pros well guys it's also time to wrap up this video so if you have enjoyed watching it please make sure to like the video and at the same time if you want to hear the latest apple news reviews and comparisons please make sure to hit the subscribe button followed by the notification bell until next time guys i will see you really soon bye bye